What's up, guys? Coming at you with the mister. I look short. Sorry. I'm on like a, I'm on a ottoman? Is that what they're called? Yes, you're on an ottoman, on an ottoman. actually. So I'm going to get on my knees because she's really short. So people are going to think I'm like five foot one. <laughs> He's not that short. We are going to do a little life update video for you guys. Don't normally do stuff like this, but... You know, if you've been sensing a little bit of like tension and stress from the Corys. We're getting, we're not getting divorced. <laughs> we are here to just kind of bring you up to speed with some of the stuff that's been going on. Maybe if you guys follow Jason on Instagram, you already know a couple of the stressors that have hit us in 2018. But if not, we just going to bring you up to speed here a little bit. So 2018 has been a little bit stressful for both of us. Two major stressors, the first one being with some construction in our house. Long story, keeping it very short, we found out we had black mold, I believe, essentially, in our bathroom. Um, basement. Basement. We found, Attic. Right? We found There was a lot of it. Right, and that's all we knew at the time. There was a lot. We don't know how much. This could be a huge project. And we found this out very small. In January. Uh, December. It was, okay. It was the end of December we had insurance. Oh, yeah. It was like so we New are, Year's Eve or the day before. Yeah, so we are now the end of April, and this isn't still all resolved, We're just so you guys it. know. Um, but like I said, long story short, back and forth with the insurance a couple times, trying to see if homeowners would cover it, which they won't. Likely going to have to go to court, we think. Um, working with a mold remediation company, lots of back and forth there, requiring a mold assessment of your house, figuring out how much to actually remediate, how much is it going to cost. With all that, I thought that included the actual rebuild once they start... Uh, um, tearing everything tearing apart. out the mold taking off doors things like that ripping out walls ripping out ceilings i thought part of it was putting that shit all back together and no, it was not so not. now we're in the process of working with a contractor to get everything fixed everything put back together painted doors back up and making sure that you know we have actually fixed the problem and we still don't know how much all of this is costing us we have zero idea by the way we just know it's gonna be a lot of money right so that's why we haven't really planned to do a lot of things because financially we didn't know if this was gonna cost us five grand or 50 grand we're, we're hopefully gonna have an end to it fairly shortly let's hope so we're hoping but just perspective wise that's been four months of this kind of lingering on for Jason and I, and we're not used to dealing with a lot of personal stress, I feel like. You know, we each deal with our own work stressors, and then and then yeah. we'll get into that. And then there's this personal kind of financial stressor that's just kind of been like holding us, kind of bringing us down a little bit. And then, um, so that's one. And then the second was extremely shocking news, which was now two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, ago today. I'll let Jason talk I... on this. Um, my friend who I work with texts me and he's like, check work email. So I check work email and there is a meeting called, this was a Sunday, for Monday morning at 9.30, including all office, all maintenance, and all area supervisors. First thought went in my head, they sold the company. Yep. Yep. So Monday morning we had the meeting. So Ding. his weekend was ruined, by yes. the way. Because... My weekend was ruined. <laughs> um... Because you know? your mind goes. You can't yeah, help you it. Just, like, it's, it's the worst not knowing. Right. It's like when your parents are mad at you and they're just like really disappointed. Like that feeling you have. Oh, that sick feeling that in your That sick stomach. feeling you have. That's what it's you, like. You like know you're in trouble. So I have the meeting Monday morning and they sold the company. And everyone in the office is out a job now. So... Yes, so Jason texts me this. I'm at work. I'm I... extremely pissed. Yeah. Like extremely pissed. And not pissed because they sold the company. I'm not. I'm not mad because they sold the company. Good for them. You know, it's their company. They sell it. They make millions of dollars. Business is business. business People is are business. in it for the money. That's how I that works. I don't. What I'm pissed about is the lies and deception right. from everyone. You know, all the leaders of the company keeping this a secret from everyone, acting like there's nothing wrong. I wouldn't have done the mold remediation yet. There's no yeah. way I would have put myself in this financial situation if I knew I was losing my job. My boss knew about the mold remediation before I did it because yeah. he asked me how I'm doing. I'm like, ah, 
not awesome. I just found out I have this huge project at home. Is like, oh, sorry to hear. Didn't even like warn you, boy. You might want to hold off in that me- right. remediation for a little bit. Right. You know, leaders don't do that. Leaders, leaders aren't afraid to tell you know their employees that hey, we're, we're thinking about selling the company. They don't want to have to rehire people. They're afraid to lose the sale if they have to rehire people. A million factors. But it yeah. comes down to, in my opinion, greed because they want to sell the company. Yeah. You know, um, I'm sure in their mind, they're like, oh, we're giving everyone a severance. So they're kind of lying to themselves thinking that, hey, we did this awesome thing for everyone. Right. You know, I'm appreciative. I'm getting a severance. After taxes, I'm only getting 8000 That's not going to go very long. You lose like half of it to taxes. Yeah, it's like 15000 and then I lose half to taxes. Yeah. It's not going to be much. In unemployment, it doesn't matter yeah, how much like, money you were making. It's like, like $400, bucks, $425 out. a week. Right. You know, there's people, you know, I, there's a lot of people in the office that would have been in a completely different situation at this current point in time, myself included, if we would have known they were trying to sell the company. Right. A major sale of 80 plus stores doesn't happen like that. Um, you know, this is, must been have been in the works for at least six months, I would say. At least. They didn't want people jumping ship. They don't want people jumping ship. I don't know. It just comes down to greed to me. No matter how they spin it, everyone involved is just yeah. a greedy, deceptive, uncool thing to do to your people. Um, well, so people know Jason has, like, he's been given a date for how long he's going to work till. So he is still working till... July 18th. Till July. And then he'll have severance and then likely file for unemployment. And so I just, like, on the flip side, on the positive side of things, like, we will be okay. Like, it's we're, we're in a much better position in our lives right now where this, this impact... It's a financial impact, yes, but I think it's not to speak for Jason, but I think it's more of an impact of when you're at a certain point in your life and you feel like all of a sudden you have to restart and you're starting from ground zero. Um, where do you go from here? And that's, it's scary and it sucks and it makes you angry and it makes you frustrated. And, you know, the area we live in, There's not no. a great place for employment, you guys. Like no. for me, I'm in a position where healthcare, like, is is accessible anywhere you live and you know i have uh the healthcare field is a little bit easier i think because they're just always looking for there's people there's always jobs there's always jobs so it's a little bit easier in that regard um for myself whereas jason has jason is very talented you guys know this and you see it and um it would be great if he could find something to just work on his talents and and make that his career and eventually be a little bit happier in his life but um well with his career not in his life but whatever um yeah this girl (laughs) and this puppy but it doesn't always happen that easily and you know it's it's tough to find a job jason did look before for like more video editing work he's a graphic designer right now so you guys know but um video editing work is tough to come by like unless you're in LA or New York City and I think word of mouth a lot of it has to do with it too it's really tough to find that work and that is Jason's passion and I think that's the direction he's gonna look to go yeah. but it's not easy and so and people don't like to pay it's like people, yeah, like, people oh. want free handouts they, they do they it's want like, free handouts being a dietitian it's like oh here can you do this it's easy yeah it takes four or five hours of my time and they want to give you 20 bucks it's like I yeah, think, no, I can't I, I can't do that. The disconnect I can't because do that. if I wasn't married to him, I would have never known the amount of work that goes into this kind of stuff. So you can see a two minute video on YouTube or on TV or wherever you see it, and the hours of work that go into it from start to finish, from the filming process, the yep. lighting process, um setting up the or... editing process, the thumbnail, descriptions, like it just anything you're doing is hours upon hours of work. I and can spend 30 minutes to an hour on a thumbnail sometimes. He has, yeah. And it, so it's not uncommon. Anyone on like YouTube probably understands that or with any like video editing experience probably gets that. So it's challenging to really find the work, number one, and to find it that's, that's worth the time and the value, you know? I've always been good um, at doing the work. It's finding the work. 
Yeah, that's finding all. That's, tough. that's that's the difficult because he has been finding. Like he's always been doing video editing on the side, obviously for me. But he's done a lot of work for TigerFitness.com. He's done work for Ronnie Coleman's company, mm-hmm. um, Core Nutritionals. He's done work for other supplement companies and things like that. But there's just there's not a lot of work out there. Mm-hmm. Um, or there's someone else that you can get to do it less and and people will compromise quality. Mm-hmm. And so Jason's someone who prides himself in quality and he's usually not willing to put his name on something that isn't his quality, regardless if it's um, what a company wants. I'm always if yelling that at makes Kara. Sense. I'm always yelling at Kara for her filming sometimes. Yeah. Like, sometimes. Don't do this. All the time. <laughs> I'm not good at it. I'm not. You guys know. No, this. she's good. Um but, like, I just want to say, so, like, things have been stressful. Like, for for me at work, I know Jason feels bad because... Um, My like, whole goal was to get her to be able to step away from her job and, like, do her own thing. Yeah. And, and like, and we've, for we've him talked to about it. To like, he's, okay, she's well, tenured. That, but... You know, she's tenured, so we've been, you know, talking yeah. about it. Now imagine if this would have if we would have said okay let's do this it's it's the time and I got screwed over by my company like I feel like I did we would have been like in a horrible position yeah yeah you know right it's, right it, so yeah I feel bad because of that too yeah and like for for me at work I've had like employee turnover and weirdness that just continues to happen so things are like a little bit more stressful there but at the same time like I'm happy to have a job I'm happy to have a good paying job I hold the insurance for both of us um like we'll be in good shape like we're not we're not in a we won't be like we can pay the bills like clearly Mm -hmm. your girl can cut down her shopping a touch sorry but the fashion halls may have to be reduced a little bit we'll see we'll see about (laughs) that but um you know, we'll be okay. And on the flip side of things, like, you know, you want to see the silver lining. You want to hope that at the end of this, Jason and I will look back and say, like, thank God, thank God that happened. You know, I think that's ultimately what we'd love to look back and say. But sitting here right now in that moment, it's it's hard. Other people can easily offer that advice to us and to him, I should say. But, you I'm know, he's, that. yeah, he's kind of overhearing it because he's the one scrambling right now, just doing all he can, putting his heart into everything to find work. And, you know, it's, that's tough. It's tough. So it's kind of rebuilding and um, it's hard to rebuild when you're middle-aged. Are we middle-aged? Oh, God. <laughs> We're not, are we? Oh, my God, uh, are we? <laughs> you're not. My birthday's in like a week and a half. <laughs> Yeah. Things could always be worse, right? Things could be worse. Things, of course, things could be worse. Yeah. And and I tell her all the time, I'm like, I'm so angry because you know of all the deception, and it, it, it's straight up deception and lies. I don't care how anyone at work wants to spin it. It's everyone that was involved is deceptive, and they lied. There's, it's just the way it is. Yeah. It, you know, let's just be honest with ourselves here. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. And I know a lot of people at work are like, they come up to me and they're so angry and they but yeah. you know they won't voice it yeah. i don't care i'm angry i'm like somebody asked me how my day how you doing shitty i'm not gonna lie no. you know i'm not gonna make oh everything's great thanks for there's a lot of over. people jason works with though that are in a yes. much worse situation and, and i tell her that all the time are. i'm like you know what there at, really are and at it's least really, we're lucky it's really really sad you know to think about people with kids or who just took on new mortgages or put themselves in a position like jason said you know we took on a, a mold remediation project you know mm-hmm. we're not the only one he's not the only one at work in that situation there's Mm -hmm. most people are losing their jobs and are probably you know gonna struggle as well to find other employment and so it's really really it's tough it's you know life sucks life isn't fair sometimes It, it it does suck but you know sitting there and being pissed it you're gonna be pissed you have Mm -hmm. to be pissed you have to almost like go through those stages of emotions but um jason's a hard worker and he's like a self-motivator that i am not (laughs) like if anyone could lose their job and and rebuild and make something great it is this man and i know he will do it i appreciate that you're welcome um, any other life updates? Bruce Wayne weighs 133.5 pounds. He's sleeping in her feet right now. <laughs> and I think that's it. Because I wanted to keep this video quick and it, it didn't end up being so quick. But just wanted to let you guys know where things were at in case you notice. Like maybe sometimes we're not, I'm not always as like happy or I'm not posting as much or 
Jason's not posting at all on his YouTube. Um, it's hard with everything that's going on. It is. Like, you know, I have a, I have a job, and then I yeah. have a job. You're trying to find a job. I'm trying to find a job. I'm trying to do job. our other job on our, on our main channel, which is obviously Same. more important. Right. Than, and, you know. and so I'm, and I'm just trying to think about the, not the weight that's on me, because I feel like that sounds very selfish, but, like, I need to keep my crap together for the family. You know, I got to be the... Not be the provider, but it, I, I, have, has to I need to be the provider, so I need to be responsible. I need to be more responsible than I have been, and I need to be supportive to him right now um, for however he needs me to be supportive to him through this, which is something like I don't think either of us thought we'd have to go through, so it's a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. To say the least, like I'm like, I don't know how to like, I want to like help him and fix the situation because I'm a fixer and I can't just fix it right now. I kind of have to let him do his thing. It's not something to be fixed essentially, but you know, I want to fix it. I don't want him to be struggling or feeling bad, but anyways, that's where we're at. You guys, I know this wasn't a motivational pep talk, but life happens and that's the reality of it. And you know, sometimes we're a little more private with some of this stuff, but it's some of it's been going on long enough. We just wanted to share, update you guys. We appreciate you all. We love you all. Like I said, some of you already knew this from following Jason. Um, so we appreciate those of you that have reached out. It means a lot. We will be okay. And that's it. That's if it. you guys have any advice, comment down below. Advice other than something better will come along. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need that advice. If you guys know anyone that needs video editing, I appreciate you. If you would suggest my husband, Jason Corey, we'll send you his contact information. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to be salesy. That's just truth right now. I'd appreciate that from you guys. If you know of anything, people that need freelance, um, tell them Jason Corey. We'll give you his email. We'll put it in the description box below. And uh, that's it. That's it. That's it for uh, for this video. Bruce Wayne. <laughs>